We have come so far, so fast. No mistake, when you light that thing, you're just along for the ride. Think about the revolution of engine technology and how Pratt has impacted power and speed in the air. For example, it's been more than 50 years since Vought's Corsair aircraft, powered by Pratt & Whitney's R2800 Wasp, conquered the skies. This engine impresses everybody. You're talking about an engine that puts out 2,000 horsepower, 2,800 cubic inches. It's a monster. Fast forward, and we do mean fast, a few decades, and the fifth generation F-35 is proving its dominance due in part to Pratt Whitney's F-135. The advanced technology just isn't in the cockpit. The motor is the most digital fighter engine Ever. As far as the motor goes, I never have to even think about what I'm doing to the motor or asking of the motor because the computers figure it all out. Let's get even more technical. Where the R2800 had pistons, the F-135 has sensors. More than double the sensors over fourth generation fighter aircraft. The FADEC or Full Authority Digital Engine Control generates consistent thrust and operational performance as well as enhanced diagnostics to detect potential issues before they happen. And here's a number to think about. The F-135 FADEC processes over 1 billion instructions per second. When it comes to the actual mechanics of the engine, it's so much simpler than it was in the past. Uh, the engine troubleshoots itself, it tells you what's wrong, it tells you what's going on. We pushed the limits and took piston technology as far and as fast as it could go, and it was revolutionary. First time you push that power up to 50 inches, it just takes your breath away. We have come so far, so fast, and have just begun to push the limits of what this engine can do. So hold on, or better yet, strap in. We're just getting started. And then light the afterburner, there's no mistake that you're uh, piloting an airplane that's powered by the most powerful motor ever built for a fighter uh, on the planet, so awesome.